Have you ever wondered how can you ever make some low cost and very cheap formicarium? Perhaps even out of these kind of things. So in this video, I'm showing you how to make a formicarium and the outworld with this kind of container. First, you will need two containers which have relatively the same size in diameter. And then, use a soldering tool or a saw or knife and cut the top off, which you want to use as a forming area. This, you will fill in the plaster. And I'm lucky that this container actually has a roof on the top which can actually fit to the cut perfectly. And as this top will be the place where the outward rests. Now, with the solder tool, I make a hole in the cover of the formicarium through the bottom of the outward, connecting it with a vinyl tube. And then, for the top cover, I cut off the hole and attach a mesh on it. This will make the formicarium escape proof. And now we have the main structure. Next, I first lay a layer of AAC sand and then I put in the plaster. Now, here's something important because you don't want to make the plaster too watery or too dry. You want to make them just at the right consistency. Because if there's too much water, the plaster will actually shrink when it dries. And now we'll get something like this. Now we just turn it over, heat it gently. Yes, I'm actually very gentle. Heat it from the side is the best, and until the plaster fell off. Now I can only carve in between this area. Be careful because you might break it. And voila! Now the reason I put AC sand in the bottom is because I want to put perlite in the bottom as the false bottom, like the drainage area. Of course, this is completely optional. Now you need to put in the plaster gently. And yes, when I mean gently, press it with all you can. And then sealing off those edges that chip off with some new plaster. And when it dries, you will have something like this. Now I also made a second formicarium with the excessive plaster that I have, which is in a delicate. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the outward as well, instead of making this into two videos. So first, we use clay. What I usually do is mix it in water until I have this consistency and put it in as the bottom. Now just put in the decors, rocks, even some twigs or sticks. And when everything is dry, you can clean off the sides easily. Just like this. As for the watering, in the drainage area, I actually make a small hole to fill in the water and then seal it off with a tape. Now I have also carved the tunnels for this delicate plaster formicarium. And you can see that there are no drainage area. It is completely optional. I also made this port in the outworld which is also optional for easier transfer. And here it is, a DIY for the carrot out of plastic container from New Year Cookies.
Now I actually have a plan for this form carrier that is to move my Iridon Mimix Big Nanny Colony into it. If I include that in this video, this video will be too long. And so I've decided to make another video for the update. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.